More details have surfaced on the search warrant for former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. The FBI seized more than two dozen boxes. Some included highly classified documents. Federal investigators were looking into three potential crimes. One of them, espionage. ABC White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks has details from Washington. The newly unsealed search warrant shedding light on what exactly FBI agents were looking for at Mar-a-Lago and what they seized. According to the documents made public by a federal judge, agents were searching for evidence of three potential crimes, violations of the Espionage Act, unlawful removal of public records, and obstruction of justice by concealing, altering, or destroying records to impede an investigation. They found 27 boxes of government records, including 11 sets of classified documents. I've been convinced all along that this case is much, much bigger than just having or mishandling classified documents. Uh, it has to do with what has been maybe done with the documents. Uh, why does the former president even have them? Have they been transmitted to other people? The night of the search, Trump's attorney given a copy of this receipt detailing what was seized by federal agents. It states that four sets of documents were marked top secret and one marked top secret SCI, a classification reserved for some of the most sensitive intelligence and national security information, typically only viewed in a highly secure location. The unsealed document does not say what the seized classified information was. The Washington Post reporting that among the material sought by federal agents was some related to the U.S. nuclear weapons program. ABC News learning that earlier this year, DOJ issued a subpoena and sent a small group of federal agents to Mar-a-Lago, all of it part of a months-long effort to try to retrieve the documents before executing the search warrant Monday. The receipt also includes an item marked the President of France, another executive grant of clemency for Trump ally Roger Stone, binders of photos, and a handwritten note. Before the warrant was made public, House Republicans on the Intelligence Committee calling for more information, demanding evidence of an imminent security threat to justify the search. The FBI raid of President Trump is a complete abuse and overreach of its authority. Democrats arguing no one is above the law and reflecting on the potential seriousness of the crimes being investigated. When we're talking about classified information, we're talking about information that if it falls into the wrong hands could lead to the deaths of our troops, our intelligence officers. This is deadly serious stuff. Now, the White House has been tight-lipped, not commenting on any of this. They say they were not given a heads-up on DOJ's move to try to unseal the search warrant. The White House saying that President Biden believes the DOJ should be independent.